maybe they put, took De uh, Derek White because you don't have to play him a whole lot of minutes. So if you if you would have took Jalen Brown and didn't give him no minutes, then it looks like a snub, even though he's on the team. So, uh, so yeah, they, but yeah, but still, so they had to take somebody who wasn't going to play a lot of uh, or, or expect to play a lot of uh, minutes or whatever. And, and I think so. Was Kawhi and, not go play? Hell no. You don't think so? With his knee limitations, like he was. Show me the he last time Kawhi played a lot of minutes anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and what? They, so they select. So they selected Kawhi to be Christian Layton. Oh uh, shit. Sure. Or, or, or Larry Bird. I, more Larry Bird than Christian Layton. I, I I got a soundbite for that, uh, Chris. I play what Chris, uh, what Grant Hill said because you know Grant Hill is putting this team together, um, and y'all y'all kind of decipher what he's trying to say or what he's trying not to say. Um, I, yeah, I smell fish. Yeah, I definitely smell fish. Uh, but uh, this is this is what Grant Hill said. Well, for a good portion of my career, I wore fila. Um, so um, that was supposed to be a joke. Um, <laughs> right. um, no, I mean we 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 um, you know we're proud of our, our partners, obviously, in USA Basketball. But you know this is this is about putting together a team, and and I'm glad you kind of brought that up because I think just overall <sighs> you you have incredible interest from you know, an abundance of talent that we have here in the United States. And I've talked a little bit about when we, you know, we assembled this roster. You can't, you, know, you got 12 spots <laughs> and you have to build a team. And one of the hardest things is leaving people off the roster that I'm a fan of, that I look forward to watching throughout the season, throughout the playoffs. He pissed me off. Um, guys who've been... Um, Finals MVPs, guys who've been a part of the program, guys who've won gold medals, um, guys who I respect, admire, and enjoy watching. And But the responsibility that I have is to put together a team, and a team that complements each other, a team that fits, a team that will um, give us the best opportunity for success. And um, so, you know, whatever theories that might be out there, um, you know, they're, they're just that, but that's, that's my responsibility and it's tough. It's tough to, you know, have conversations, tell people that they're not on the team. And, uh, so I know I talked about that in the past, but I, I just think that speaks in general. Like I, I'm trying to win and I'm trying to put together the right pieces that fit and give us a chance to win. I, I, I want to ask if, if do y'all think, uh, Jalen Brown fit? better than Derek White. And then I also want to ask, what's the point of going to go get one of his teammates to add insult to injury? You could have went and got any other person. Bingo. You went and got his teammate to make it three Celtics, right, just to make it obvious. So make some sense out of what Grant Hill said and, and answer those questions for me, man. Well, well, first of all, Grant Hill spoke like a true. Don't true. do it, Jay. No, politician. Yeah, he did. Uh, listen, man. Um, there, there, like you said, there was literally a whole NBA worth of other players he could have got. Um, I think, I think some of the direction from Nike was a. Hey, you can't get this guy. We know who that guy is. I'm not gonna call him by name. Mm. But this guy will not be on this team. Period. So go do what you do from, from here on out. But I, I heard an interesting uh, point of view earlier today, which was that maybe they put, took De, uh, Derek White because you don't have to play him a whole lot of minutes. So if you if you would have took Jalen Brown and didn't give him no minutes, then it looks like a snub, even though he's on the team. Yeah, so, so yeah they, but yeah, but still, so they had to take somebody who wasn't going to play a lot of. Uh, or expect to play a lot of a uh, minutes or whatever, and and I think so. Was Kawhi not go play? Hell no. You don't think so? With his knee limitations, like he was. There, Show me the last time Kawhi him. played a lot of minutes anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and what? So they select. So they selected Kawhi to be Christian Leitner. Oh 
Oh, shit. Or, or, or Larry Bird. I, more Larry Bird than Christian Lakeman. Mm. Yeah, don't, no, 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 don't, don't do him like that. Don't, don't get him to Christian Lakeman, though. <laughs> yeah, more Larry Bird. Like, yeah, like, yeah, real, like so, so Larry Bird was, 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 was a legend who had game to be on there, but his back was done. Yeah, he was so a rap. It, it wasn't, it was no question why Larry Bird wasn't getting minutes like that with USA. Mm. Insert I'm Kawhi Leonard. Mm. But doesn't doesn't Jalen Brown wear Nikes? Or am I tripping? I, I don't I, think she, I have no I have no clue. I, I have know. no clue. So, it, so the Nike, the, the wild Nike uh, comment wasn't about himself. That, that like they said so, that that it was in support of a basketball player who will re- remain nameless. So Jalen Brown, I'm pretty certain, is signed to Adidas. And he was just the beef between him and Nike started because he spoke out. Not I, I'm not even gonna say he spoke out in favor for Kyrie. He didn't mention his name, he didn't say anything about his posts. He just said, Since when is Nike since when does Nike care about ethics? Oh, yeah. So he called out their ethics and basically mm-hmm. said that they weren't ethical for whatever his reasons are, and that was basically where the beef was born. Yep, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Um this is this is this is a Nike thing. Nike does this though. Like we're not about to act like who like this isn't what they do. They have control over it. Uh and they got a lot of money. So they can dictate who is going to be on this team and which might be another reason why LeBron was voted the best player cuz Nike's running the show anyway. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that to LeBron. Right. LeBron ain't did nothing to you, dog. Right, my, you thing, right. my thing about it is like like I Mel do think said. LeBron has the power though to put to make wow. sure that he's on the team if that's what he wanted. So I mean, also, if, if, if everybody I'll, I'll say know. all the power they say LeBron got, I, he didn't flex it with this situation. They said he I got power, that, but I ain't seen it. Hey, Does he seem like he hey, y'all know Phil, y'all know Phil Knight ain't listening to LeBron at all. All I'm saying is he's got a no, lifetime, lifetime contract. He has a lifetime contract, so he's already you know. Um, so why he, would I have to listen to you? You can't you can't threaten me to go anywhere else. Sure can't. Yeah. So so mm. so so the LeBron power play doesn't work when you've already signed it away. Yeah, you already employee you, dog. Yeah. I hear that. I'm just saying that LeBron does have a lot of influence, and a lot of power. He could decide that he didn't want to play for Team USA, and and, and, uh, and they would they wouldn't even care. They, they'd have been like, "Good, get your forty years, forty year old ass." <laughs> <laughs> my, th- my thing about it is is why the pettiness though? Because I mean, if you was looking for defense to replace Kawhi Leonard, as much as I hate to say this, you probably could have went and got Draymond Green to replace Kawhi if you was just looking for defense. But you had to go get somebody that was on the same team, and you already got two other guys from that team. Yeah, it's, it felt like yeah, a you got to you got to be an earthling to play in the Olympics, though. Like mm. they don't let, yeah, they don't let, mom they don't let donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, chill. I don't think that Grant Hill made the decision at all. No, I don't think he did either. He made the no. decision. It sounded like he was just trying to, you know, he was like, "I'm trying to win," and I think he was trying to deflect some of that blame from Nike and make it about putting the right pieces together and sounding like, you know, when the uh, WNBA didn't put Caitlin Clark, that's what it reminded me of just trying to come up with that same excuse to make it fit here. And it doesn't fit. Yeah. Do y'all think Derek White fits into this system though? Like do y'all see him being able to. Sure. He's a role player. Does does Derek White know how to sit down? Hmm. Yes. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yo. Insert anybody who you're not gonna play a long time. Yeah, man. I I just think Nike was like, I, I, yeah, yeah, over my dead body. You're not you're not about to critique. Dude. Now we got an opportunity to get back at you. And yeah. we, I mean, because this dude don't even have a shoe deal. 